Oh boy, oh boy. Thanks for hanging out with me. We're gonna take a look at the brand new Gravity Titan LED light bar by KC tonight. We're gonna do an unboxing, and then I've run the Gravity Pro 6, which is the uh, generation before the Gravity Titan. Um, and I've run them for years. I've been super happy with the setup. We've used those lights um, in an emergency situation where we've had to travel relatively quickly, and it is great to be able to light up the road when you're in that kind of situation. What we're gonna do today is I'm gonna do an unboxing and then you guys can take a look at this brand new piece of equipment. And let's just be clear, this is at the top of the line. This is the, the best of the best. So we're gonna take a look at the lights. Then I'm gonna take the truck out with the Gravity Pro 6. And with this light meter, we're gonna take a reading to test the brightness of the lights I have on now. We'll do a quick install of these lights uh, and then we're gonna take them out again. We'll take another reading and we'll see the difference between the first generation and this generation uh, product. So you guys will, will be uh, relatively scientific about it so that you guys can see a true measurement of the performance of this brand new light setup. All right, so hey, let's jump right in and uh, go ahead and do the unboxing and see what this thing looks like. All right, I think this is about the best angle to do this at. And uh, of course, I'll get some close-ups for you guys too. Really excited to see the configuration here. We got some big staples. And hey, you guys, um, while I'm thinking about it, you guys go over to overlandbound.com and uh, check out um, our community and uh, our app on iOS and Android. Uh, connect with our community. Check that out. All right. This is looking really good. We've got, um, we got some instructions, some how-tos here on how to configure the lights, whether you want an arc like this or or you want that straight on the money. So what's great about this setup, it uh, doesn't seem like there's anything in here. What's great about this setup is, um, I think it's gonna be just a direct replacement, which is fantastic. I don't think there's gonna be any, any, any trouble because I had to create a, I welded a mount on my Gobi rack. <laughs> I welded a mount onto my Gobi rack, and of course, I would like this awesome setup to be a direct bolt-on. All right. There we go. Oh, dang. Hey, those look quite a bit different. And I will show you the difference between this technology and the tech I have on there now. which is great tech, but holy cow. Yeah, this looks completely different. Unique design, and we'll go through some of the specs as we go through some of the, um, uh, the install video. <laughs> what are you doing? Pretty cool. <laughs> Come check it out. I'm in my gym gym. I know, I had to bug you because I took the light covers <laughs> I off. I glasses on. Yeah, no, you gotta oh, see the... good. Yeah. It looks good, oh, but I'm in my jam jams. I know you are. I'm taking the dogs out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, come and look at the lights though. <laughs> Check it out. See, how, look how different they look compared to what we have. Oh yeah. They're, they're clearly an entirely it's different light. really different. Babes, I'm in my, I'm in my uh, Okay, okay, okay. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for checking it out. Bye dogs, have a good walk. Oh, sorry, you're not going in the truck. 
<laughs> Let's go. You're not going in the truck, sorry. I know it looks like we're going camping, but we're not. We're just, we're doing this awesome video. <laughs> All right, you guys. Let's roll. Let's take the venerable FJ80 series Land Cruiser out on the trail and um, we're gonna measure we're gonna measure the reading on those lights and we'll we'll mark the position so it's exactly the same distance when we go out again and we test these bad boys. So let's hit the trail real quick and I'll just take a simple reading, install, take another reading, and you guys will have news and information you can use. And stick around for the details on the tech behind this light bar. All right, let's hit the trail. Okay, I'm just gonna show you guys the difference between my headlights and then I'm gonna turn on the Gravity Pro 6 first generation lights here. So it's just like it's just like so much light. And we'll we'll compare with uh, with the new ones. All right, you guys, here we are uh, out in the middle of no place. You can see the stars out here. Um, I picked this spot because there's a light pole here. That is light pole number nine. And so we will take our reading from the next light pole, which is down there. This is the previous generation, Gravity Pro 6. It's like daylight. It, it, they're, really, they're really good. But we'll swap these out with the new generation, the Gravity Titan LED bar. And uh, tomorrow night with the new light bar, we will take the exact same reading at the exact same distance and we'll see how much brighter they are. So let's go take our reading. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of light. All right, you guys, let's, uh, let's get our reading. Hold up my, my meter there. Oh, hold on, let's make sure it's moving. There we go. Okay, I had it on peak, so it got a peak. Okay, so let's see, we got uh, 107, 106, Holding up our light meter. All right. All right, we got about 106 lux. I'm satisfied with that. Uh, 106.7, call it 107 if you want. Um, okay, so that's our reading and we'll compare that to the Gravity Titan tomorrow and see how much brighter it is. Now I'm gonna show you the, the angle that I got here, all right? So here you go. There's the light pole. And then that's all the way back to the truck by the other light. All right, hey, you guys, let's go, uh, let's go install some new lights. You guys, okay, we're gonna install this. Um, I'll show you some, we'll talk about some of the specifics. This is my friend, Jim. Hello. Jim and I are from Humboldt County, but we met each other again through Overland Bound, but I can hit his house with a rock from here. So Jim, <laughs> so Jim's gonna help me with the light bar. We're first gonna take the Gravity Pro 6 off, then we'll put this on, but um, I'll talk about some of the specs of the, um, the, awesome, the awesomeness uh, as, we, as we go. So enjoy, let's get this thing on. Let's do it. Okay, now let's cover some of the basics, the improvements between the Gravity Titan and the older Pro 6. First and foremost, 68.2% brighter than the Gravity Pro 6. So that is a huge improvement. All right, you guys, so what we find? Um, comparing these two, I had to weld onto the Gobi rack mounts to get the previous Gravity Pro 6 uh, on there. And so ideally, we're not gonna have to change that mounting. So Jim and I are gonna see if we can get the brackets that I created to fit the new light bar, and at first glance, it looks like that is gonna work, but, but we will see. Another thing is, gold dang it, because of the awesome amber dust light feature of the new um, Gravity Titan, the wiring harness is different, so I'm gonna have to run some, some new wire. It probably won't be too painful, but uh, yeah, we're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to run some new wire through the roof 
of the 80 series. I've got a nice little grommet there, so we'll have to undo it, but it's just gonna be more work. It's also got a 34.7% larger illumination zone than the Gravity Pro 6 and 26.8% more beam distance. So that's a significant increase. Some of the other unique features, better, better heat transfer with the LED, that's gonna to translate to longer life. Three source LED optics. Now that gives you more consistent brightness for short, mid and long range lighting coverage. That's awesome and then more beam precision with the gravity reflective diode technology. So these brackets that were on the old light system are exactly the same as the bracket on the new system. They should fit, no problem. Let's slide right on KC, there. KC, we love you for that. <laughs> I know you couldn't give us the same wiring harness, but the fact that the brackets will fit and I don't have to do anything else to mount this onto the Gobi, thank you. Also, the thing I really like, one of the things I really love about this light, other than all the improvements, is that it's basically two lights in one. It's dual mode. You've got amber LED dust lights and the high power mode, the, the, the far reaching beam. But dust or fog at night on the trail, you've got that amber dust light mode. You can also configure this to be either a straight bar or have a slight curve to it, a curved configuration uh, for broader light distribution. All right, super happy with the, with the mounts. That's gonna work great. Now we're moving on to the next thing. Because these lights are awesome, they require a new wiring harness. Um, you can switch between amber dust or full on driving spot and that is gonna be really, really awesome. Um, but it requires us to run some new wire through the roof. I've got a nice weatherproof uh, grommet that goes through the roof of the, the 80. Um, if I, I'll dig, no promises, but they're so awesome. I'll try and put one in the link if you need a, 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 a weather tight grommet that will go through the roof of your vehicle and then stay weather tight. These ones are really good, so I'll try and link them in, in the description. Um, and then the other thing that is kind of awesome is that these lights are wired on both sides, so it doesn't matter whether you're coming through the driver's side or the passenger side, uh, you've got a connection for the harness and you can hook it up to, to either side. So now we're gonna, we're gonna run some wire and uh, try not to let the, the ghost smoke out, the wire spirit ghost out. We'll try, all right. And here. Oh, we can get the, we can get the wire. wires in, but we can't get the, the outside. I mean, we might be able to if we play with it enough. Why am I rolling camera and talking at you? Because this is a super nice and clean wiring harness. Oh, I'm holding clippers uh, from KC. It's bundled very nicely, um, but Ouch. We have to get the cable through the uh, grommet. You, you cut the wrong one. No. Yeah. <laughs> Here, I'll hand it to you through the side. There you go. And these are definitely worth more than me, so. So I'm on the outside over here. Where are you? Oh, right. this is gonna be perfect. Yeah, now I'm on the outside too. Terrific. All right. All right, we got the we got the the bar up there and we have the wires coming down through the roof. We got that hooked up. So now we're gonna pull that through under the hood, hook it up. We should be pretty close to being done. When I installed the red arc, I had the lights and some other critical gear on mechanical switches as a redundancy in case anything happened with the red arc. And that confused me for a little while. Um, but then Oops. I figured it out, I remembered. <laughs> for a little while, I mean, we started on Saturday, it's now Sunday. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you a close up of my wiring uh, today, but if Jim and I did it right, 
if we did it right, we should have lights. So let's take a look. First we'll go dust lights, low power fog. That's pretty darn cool. Yeah. That's a first. And then we'll go high power. All right, cool. All right. We have installed lights. I'm going to be honest. Our, my, my hasty wiring might leave a little bit to be desired. I'm going to need to get in there and clean some stuff up. But they work. They're awesome. Um, thanks, Jim. You're welcome. Appreciate the help. No um, problem. Yeah, so we, we've got those installed. Um, and then later on tonight, I'm going to take the truck uh, out on the trail again, like we did last night, and we'll get um, a Lux reading, and we'll see the difference in brightness uh, between this and the first generation Gravity Pro 6. You know what we should do, though? What's up? We didn't really bolt those lights on very well. We need to tighten it up. <laughs> Nah, let's just see what happens. All right, you guys, here we are again. After all that, this is what it's all about. Actually seeing what the light reading is when we go back down there to the same telephone pole in the same situation and see how much brighter those are on the meter. So beyond the paperwork and the stated stats out here in the field, what's the actual reading? Let's go find out. All right, you guys, here we are at the same spot. I'll tell you, <laughs> I'll tell you what, sure looks brighter to me just looking here. All right, let, let me show you the angle. Here we go. Here is our telephone pole. And boom, there's the truck. All right, now I'm going to get the light meter. Let's take a reading. Okay, here we go now. Holy! Okay, you guys remember, now that's peeking out. Okay, 199, almost 200. Okay, so you guys, yesterday it was 106 to maybe 107, and now we're up at 200. So that claim of 68% brighter <laughs> proven right here uh, on the meter at least 68 percent uh, let's check that out again it's blowing out my meter it's our it 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 peaked it there we go 199 I'm gonna have to even cheat it this way so watch as I bring the the meter let me make sure I'm in focus yeah okay hey there we go watch as I bring the meter towards the point it towards the truck bam peaked it out 200 over 200 boom all right that's a good test uh that is a lot brighter that is a good test that's a lot of light that is the gravity titan led light bar available just now so go and check it out remember we want you guys to rejuvenate, connect, find that solace in nature. It's good for your soul. Go over on to uh, overlandbound.com, connect with our community. Overlandbound One is our app in the App Store. We'll see you on the trail.